Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. According to EMSC, there was a magnitude 2.0 earthquake not far from Mount Rainier. USGS said it was a 1.3, a big difference, especially when you figure between a 1 and a 2 is 10 times the difference. So this would be 7 times greater than that 1.3, this 2.0. Uh, they divide it up into tens. So a 2 to a 3 would be a 3 being 10 times greater than a magnitude 2.0. Now farther away the monitor, the smaller the earthquake would register. Here we have 2.6 on USGS. They also have 2.82, 2.54, and we'll come up here, 2.16. See what else they got. 2.1.94 and a 2.02. .02. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Many of you have asked me to uh, start watching Mount Rainier, and the location is right there. Here we have the helio plots for Hanford, Washington. Um, we got another earthquake. Shortly after 1300 Universal Time, that's not being reported, and I'll bring it down. Um, here we got uh, 2000. Now this would be Mountain Time. This would be the uh, 2.0 or 1.3, depending on if you want to believe uh, USBS or EMSC. As you know, PNSN is always a day behind in posting their earthquakes. They had 16 earthquakes reported, quiet, what they call the quiet earthquakes, 1.6, 1.4, 1.7, 1.8, etc. And you can see this up here in the Washington area. Then down here, we got the uh, California-Oregon border. Back in 2009, there was an article about a vast magma pool under the state of Washington. The article, published in Nature Geoscience, said there was enough magma to actively feed three volcanoes in the Cascade Mountains, Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, and Mount Adams. Other scientists dismissed this as far-fetched and said that it wasn't magma, but heated water to 1,300 to 1,400 degrees. On PNSN, here is the current. You can see the date right here, spectrogram viewer for Mount Rainier. The date, which is Thursday. Now you can see this is set for volcanic earthquakes, not tectonic earthquakes. I want to come down here and look at the spectrograms. Um, yeah, you can see we got um, some stuff there. There is the signature of that earthquake. And the time would be 1246. Yeah, you can see the earthquake signature, um, the hot gases that came up. Yeah, and the magma. All right, so the earthquake was at 1924. Here's the 1900 line. You can see we got small harmonic tremors before this earthquake. Yeah, some heat that came up during this earthquake. And I'll pull this down so you can see the time. 1924. This is prior to that uh, 2.0 earthquake. Yep, harmonic tremors. There's the time, 1914, 1920, 1910. A small earthquake right there at 1902. See that? I'll give you a link to this page so you can go through and uh, click on the different sections. Let me pull this over. See, there's another earthquake. And we got a signature right here at 1948. It's a little high up. Um, possibly heated water. We got another small earthquake right there. And yeah, another one there. When you see a signature such as this one right here, um, that could very well be um, traffic or it could be a rock slide, things like that. But see, this is a little bit deeper as this one. It's a little bit deeper. And this is what is currently shown. We got another small earthquake there. 
and we'll pull it down. Today, around 1330, we started getting all kinds of drum beats. See that? Drum beats, harmonic tremors. And I'll pull this up for you. Yeah, this is fairly significant. We got an earthquake there and an earthquake there. Let's take a look at the 1300 line right here where it seems to possibly have started. Went from relatively quiet to lots of activity, a small quake there. Yeah, we got some red showing there. And see how the gases started coming up at 1304. 1310 to 1320. See how deep this is? This isn't up high where sound would be from traffic or rock slides, um, people going over speed bumps. We got another small earthquake there. 1320 to 1330. From 1330 to 1340. Harmonic tremors. Now this is before that earthquake. And this is for Mount Rainier. 1340 to 1350. Harmonic tremors. Remember, uh, when you really have to worry is when the harmonic tremors get so rapid, it actually goes silent, goes quiet. Let me pull this up for you. That's because the sound would be coming in so fast um, that the equipment can't record it. And then from 1350 to 1400, see how it started settling down a little bit? And we got some very, very small earthquakes. But it's all very deep. It's not up high. 1400 to 1410. See, this is up high. This could be, like I said, an indication of traffic. Could be an indication of rock slide. Uh, just outside general noise up here at the top, but here at the bottom it isn't. From 1410 to 1420, like I said, it settled down. 1522 or 1520 to 1530. Yeah, I don't know why that is missing there. 1530 to 1540. Yeah, that's noise up there at the top, but then we still got some stuff going on here at the bottom. And I notice we got a thickening of the lines. Now you can change this chart from volcanic earthquakes to tectonic earthquakes. And I'll bring that down so you can see what was going on. Yeah, a little burst there. Let's look at um, 1900. Yeah, 9 o'clock. There was some stuff going on. And we'll come down some more. Okay, so it was at 1924, and we'll go there. And here we go. Let's see. Yeah, look at all the noise. A lot of noise there. Yeah, it doesn't really show. Let's see, let's come down here. Uh, 1924. See, it doesn't really show that earthquake. Um, they got one afterwards that's tectonic caused. At, uh, I wish I'd break it down more. Uh, maybe 1925 or close to that. Here we have the quick shake from Inland Washington, it says here. And this is for Central Daylight Time. I've been noticing we got some small earthquakes that have been coming in. And we got another one coming in over here. Let me pull this over. Um, this one says um, R E R S L F. Yeah, we got a screw wave here. Screw wave here. Yeah. And I'll give you a link to this also. Now here's that 1300 line for that earthquake that they're not reporting um, somewhere near Mount Rainier. Um, this is the uh, seismograph and this would be 
Observation Rock, Mount Rainier, Washington. This here is the seismograph for Panhandle Gap there in Washington. And here's a map showing the different earthquakes. Uh, this one here is Panhandle Gap. Uh, this here is the lookout. Here we have Mount Rainier Camp Murr. And there's that earthquake. I don't know why they didn't report it. Why did they not report this activity? They don't give a current threat level for Mount Rainier. Um, the last time it erupted was a thousand years ago. And the th threat potential, according to USGS, is very high. You can go to current alerts for U.S. volcanoes. Uh, we got Mauna Loa. That's on advisory. Uh, what else we got here? Um, Cleveland volcano advisory. And that's basically it. Um, the other ones, I believe, are up there in Alaska. You know, Mount Rainier is recharging. Who knows when it will go off again. Uh, here it says that Mount Rainier is one of the most seismically active volcanoes in Washington and Oregon Cascades. In an average month, uh, they only have three to four earthquakes within three miles of the summit. That's all. Looks like the largest earthquake was a 3.9 in 1973. Then they had 3.0 events occurring in 1976, 1990, and 2002 and 2000 in swarms. The most notable swarm of earthquakes um, happened between September 20th and the 22nd of 2009, when over 1,000 earthquakes occurred. They believe that most of the earthquakes there occur by fluids, uh, hydrothermal fluids lubricating existing faults. Being an area of subduction, yeah, pressure is building and mounting. I talked about how we got the uh, uh, Juan de Fuca plate sliding underneath the Cascades uh, fault zone and the North American plate. And that activity has definitely been increasing. So we'll try and keep an eye on it a little bit more. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.